Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here to guide you through the various scans that are crucial in the journey to diagnose and help treat breast cancer. But before we start, I'm going to ask you this question. What type of breast cancer may need an MRI scan? Stick to the end of the video and I will give you the answer. Hi, my name is Dr. Tasha and I'm a breast surgeon. So first, let's start with the most well-known and widely used scan for breast cancer, and that's the mammogram. So how is it performed? Mammograms involve compressing the breast tissue between two plates on an X-ray machine. It's simple as that. Two images are taken off each breast, typically from two different angles, craniocaudal or CC and mediolateral oblique or MLO. Mammograms are usually reserved for women from the age of 40 upwards. And the reason for this is below this age, the breast tissue is quite dense. And so a mammogram may not be a very useful tool. Having said that, if you are under 40 and you have been diagnosed with breast cancer, then we will normally do a mammogram as well. During a mammogram, uh, the patient may feel a little bit of pressure and discomfort as the breast is compressed but it is actually quite a quick procedure. And the time the breast is compressed is only a few minutes. So it's not that bad. Mammograms are primarily used to detect breast cancer and is also used for breast cancer screening. Now let's talk about ultrasound scans. How is it performed? Well, ultrasound scans use high frequency sound waves to create images of things that we are looking for within the breast. The person performing the scan will apply a little bit of gel to the breast and uses a handheld device called a transducer or the probe to capture the images. The procedure is actually very painless and it does not involve radiation exposure. All you have to do is lie on the couch and then the ultrasound scan is performed. Patients may feel a little bit of pressure from the probe and it takes roughly between 5 to 10 minutes to do. Ultrasound scans are used to further evaluate breast abnormalities, either those identified on a mammogram or if somebody presents with a lump and they are under the age of 40. It is a targeted scan and it is very good at looking at specific areas. And this is very different to a mammogram that takes a picture of the whole of the breast. And that's why we use mammogram for screening purposes, not an ultrasound scan. Moving on to a more advanced imaging technique, and that's the MRI scan. MRI scans of the breast require the patient to lie face down on a table with their breast position in a specific area. The MRI machine generates detailed images using radio waves and a strong magnetic field. How about the patient experience? An MRI scan is a non-invasive procedure, but you will need to remain still for anything between 30 to 45 minutes. Some people may feel anxious due to the enclosed space of the MRI machine. And if you are claustrophobic, having an MRI scan can be quite challenging. MRI scans are used to assess breast cancer extent. Not only that, but we use it to screen high risk individuals. And also we use it to evaluate breast implants in those who've had reconstruction. If you've been diagnosed with lobular breast cancer, it is likely that you would have been organized to have an MRI scan of the breast. And the reason for this is because lobular breast cancer can be quite challenging to see on a mammogram. And an MRI scan is very helpful and useful in assessing that particular cancer and the extent of the disease. Now let's talk about CT scans. CT scans involve the patient lying on a table that moves into a massive donut shaped machine. X-ray beams create detailed cross-sectional images and usually we will include the chest, the abdomen as well as the pelvis in this scan. What about the patient experience? Well, the procedure is relatively quick, can take anything between 10 to 30 minutes. Patients may need contrast dye injected intravenously to help enhance the image and this can actually cause a warm sensation as it is injected through. Why do we do CT scans? Well, we use it to stage breast cancer, meaning that we use it to assess whether cancer has spread to either the glands in your armpit or other parts of the body, including the chest, the abdomen, as well as the pelvis. Next up is the PET scan. 
PET scans involve the injection of a radioactive sugar solution, followed by a short wait for distribution throughout the body. The scanner will then detect areas with high metabolic activity. Patients must fast for several hours before the procedure, and the scan can take anything between 30 to 60 minutes to do. And some people may experience a metallic taste in their mouth from the injection. So what is the purpose of a PET scan? Well, PET scans help identify whether cancer has spread to distant organs by measuring the metabolic activity of the cancer. Now, let's not forget about bone scans. So how is it performed? Well, a bone scan requires the patient to receive radioactive tracer through an IV. So that's through the vein. The tracer accumulates in areas of increased bone activity. After the injection, patients must wait for two to three hours for the tracer to circulate. The scan itself lasts about 30 minutes and there's very minimal discomfort. Bone scans are used to detect breast cancer that has metastasized to the bones. And they can be very helpful in early detection of bone metastasis, which is of course crucial for treatment planning. The use of various scans in breast cancer diagnosis and treatment is a crucial aspect of patient care. Each scan serves a specific purpose and the choice of scan depends on the patient's individual circumstances as well as cancer. If you found this information helpful, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.